top of the morning to you. We're here with Rod at Hurley's Irish Pub in Montreal, one of our favorite places. And when you run out of those St. Patrick's Day tattoos that you find at the dollar store, I recommend getting the paints that are there. They're a buck piece, a little acrylic. We're gonna throw a flag on his face. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of tape. We're gonna do a little rectangle on the face. <laughs> little standard tape action going on. Smooth that out. I'm gonna take a synthetic brush. It's got a little bit of a square ahead. Synthetic is the best for applying acrylic paints. How do you remember the order of the Irish flag? The green is always next to the? Flagpole. Flagpole, <laughs> perfect. Okay, so we're gonna like pretend that out here is gonna be the flagpole. So you just do a thin layer of green. Always clean in between. We're gonna go into the white. Clean off your brush, and then we're gonna go into the orange. And once you put your orange on, we're gonna wait for some paint to dry, and we're gonna do a shot in the meantime. Okay, so now that we've dulled the paint, we're ready to rip off the tape of Rod's face. Ooh. <laughs> so once you've peeled off the tape, you know, a little bit of Q-tip and water is great for taking off anything that kind of like goes outside of the tape lines. Now I gotta keep this on for the weekend? There you go. <laughs> All right, so if you want your St. Patrick's Day to be fast, cheap, and easy, and I'm not talking about the ladies are gonna be showing up here at Hurley's, <laughs> then this is what you're gonna do, a little bit of acrylic paint and some tape and a brush, and you're good to go. Thanks a lot, and happy St. Patrick's Day.